Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really exciting one for me because I'm going to be revealing our bathroom renovation to you guys. Now if you've been following along with our house journey then you will know that when we purchased the property uh, that our bathroom was not watertight. So it was kind of the first major renovation that we knew that we had to do otherwise we probably would have left it a little bit longer because it was fine, it was functional as it was, it was not definitely to my taste but there was nothing really cosmetically wrong with the bathroom. So so I'm going to show you guys a before and then I'm going to show you the whole renovation process and then I'm also going to show you the after, so the final product. Uh, in terms of who we use, so we did a bit of research into it and we settled on Luke's bathroom renovations. So I'm going to drop their Instagram and their website below. Uh, the thing that I really liked about them was the fact that unlike every other renovator that we saw online, all the other contractors that we stumbled across. I love that they had real time on their Instagram what they were doing. So if you follow them, you actually get to see the whole renovation process on all of the projects that they're working on, which for me was a major bonus. And I have to say, I've been really, really pleased with the quality of the work that Luke and his team did. They were amazing. They were here every single morning by 7.30 a.m. So they were extremely reliable, which I think is something that you really need, especially when you're renovating something like a bathroom that is a necessity in the house. Uh, and I also like the fact that they were hardworking too. So not only did they come on weekends, but they also were really happy to come back and fix up anything. Like, I mean, I am definitely one of those people who pays a lot of attention to detail. So if there was any little niggling thing, they were quite happy to change it even if it was a hassle for them, which is something that I really appreciated. We are actually planning on using them again when we do our kitchen renovation, which hopefully will be next year. We'll kind of see, it all depends on how quickly we can save up for it. But uh, yeah, that kind of should give you an indicator of uh, how pleased we were with the service. I will also drop in the description box below where we got all of our fittings from. So the vanity, mirror, lighting, and also just a tapware, that kind of thing. Um, Luke did organize the towel rail just because it is within the shower space so it needed to be a particular voltage and we also got a custom made shower screen so that it fit perfectly within the space. I will talk you guys through the layout of the bathroom. So we decided to keep this the same just because for us that made the most sense. We've got a bathroom which has a shower and a double vanity and then we also have the toilet. So when you walk into our bathroom the first thing that you're going to see is the double vanity and the mirror. So the old mirror was kind of a um, warm tone brown it was a square shaped mirror and then the vanity was uh, black and that matching brown and you can kind of see from the video that the sinks were they, they didn't look like they were secured properly the siliconing wasn't very nice and they kind of looked like they were hanging off which I personally didn't really love it kind of looked a little bit messy uh, the tiles that they used in the bathroom were white and black and you can kind of see uh, at the top there near the architraves that there is a key design now one of the previous owners were Greek so uh, a little bit of my heritage in our bathroom but we wanted something a little bit more modern and a little bit that felt a little bit more like us I think we really wanted to put our own mark on the space then when you kind of veer around to the left we had the shower space this had a glass wall with a door so that you could enter the shower and it actually had dual showers one end of the shower worked perfectly and that was the functioning end and then at the other end there was a shower head but you can kind of see it's fallen off the wall there so, so there's definitely been a little bit of wear and tear and they'd also put um, I guess a shelf that they had attached to the wall but it was hanging off and probably the week prior to doing our renovation this actually fell completely off so it was just hanging by a thread quite literally then when you go into our toilet you can kind of see it's a little bit old looking it's there's nothing special there's nothing wrong with it uh, it's just got a simple white porcelain vanity in the corner there's a corner vanity and I found this really difficult to use I actually found that I would go and wash my hands in the double vanity in the bathroom it was just a lot easier and you had a lot more space uh, and then it just had a simple toilet it did have a bidet I don't know if it worked but that was different <laughs> and it had the same tiling setup as in the uh, bathroom space so we kind of decided to keep that vibe the same now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the whole renovation journey and then I'm going to flip to the end and I'm going to give you the whole reveal so keep watching okay so it's day one and the guys have come in and ripped everything out of the bathroom and it's actually weird because the room feels really small now so this is kind of what it looks like and actually um, you can kind of see through 
it goes right into the bathroom. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> I'm sorry, into the toilet. So, yeah. Here you go. This is a front-on look at the at the uh, toilet space now that everything's been ripped out. So it is day two of the renovation and the electrician and the plumber have done the rough in. So you can kind of see that there are some new wires in here and there's also some copper plumbing as well. Uh, one thing that we didn't anticipate, well, we kind of knew because the bathroom wasn't watertight, but there's actually been some water damage. So you can see down here that the timber has rotted. So they've got to replace that beam. Some of the other beams, because it is an older house, there have also been some termites. So they've replaced this water panel here uh, so that should probably be getting done tomorrow I suspect but yeah it's good to see the progress happening hey guys so it is Saturday I actually didn't uh, film anything in the bathroom yesterday thought what I would do is show you our tiles because we got Carrara marble tiles and we had to seal them all before uh, actually getting them placed in the bathroom so I thought I'd uh, kind of show you our setup so I've kind of commandeered our third bedroom to put all the tiles down these aren't even all of them the other ones are all in the other spare bedroom but we've got these hexagonal Carrara marble tiles and then we've got the penny tiles so these ones are going to be a feature in the uh, shower recess and then these ones are going to be on the floor so I think they're going to look really good I'm so excited about our reno Day four, and you can see that they've now put in the new studs and the new woodwork, so replacing all of the rotten wood. It looks really, really good. I imagine they're probably gonna put the villa board in uh, next and then start waterproofing. Oh, this is so exciting. Hey guys, so it is day five today, and sorry for the echo, but uh, they've put the villa board up in the bathroom now, so you can kind of see it all coming together. I'm really excited because we've got the recessed shelf in the wall. Let me just flip the camera around. So you can kind of see it's all starting to take shape. So this here is where the recess is going to be. There is going to be the uh, mixer here so that we can walk in, turn it on um, before we get hit by water here. So you don't get cold when you're turning the shower on, which I think is really neat. Uh, but it's all looking really, really good. Let me take you through to the toilet as well. Yeah, so they've also done the, the toilet space too. So we're keeping the same configuration. The toilet will be here and then we'll have the uh, vanity behind the door. So the next step from here is to start waterproofing the bathroom. So I suspect that'll probably begin tomorrow. I'm not sure if they need to do anything to the floor first before they do that, but... Um, Luke just said they've got to level the floor. There you go. So they'll have to level the floor and then they'll waterproof. So. Hopefully Thailand should begin next week. Hey guys, so we're eight business days into our renovation and there's been a bit of progress since I last updated you, but I thought I'd show you what the bathroom currently looks like now that it has been waterproofed and they have kind of relayed the floors. So you can see here they have laid the waterproofing membrane. So that's where the shower area is going to be and then also all on the floor in here as well. And they've also laid that in the toilet too, just around the edges and where the piping will be. So day nine of our renovations and you can see that the guys have put the tiles up on the walls and they've also done the feature wall detail for our recess. On the floor, they've done the screed. So this is essentially to allow for drainage. So there's a slight slope. Uh, after this, they'll be uh, doing the tiles on the floor. So that'll look really cool. Um, and they've also done in the walls and the toilet as well. So I think this is to around about 150 centimeters high. And that's gonna go the whole way around. So they're gonna do on the wall there as well. But yeah, it's looking really, really good. I'm so excited about this, particularly that little standout feature wall. I think it looks great and it's going to tie in very nicely with the Carrara marble hexagonal tiles, which we're going to have on the floor. Hey guys, so it is day 10 of our renovations and the tiling is all complete except for the grouting on the floor and it looks so good. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Uh, let, me, let me flip it around. Okay, so you can see that they've used white grout on the walls of the shower, which I really like. It looks very, very fresh. And they've also used the white grouting on the penny tile as well, which I think really helps to make it pop. 
on the floor we've now got our hexagonal marble Carrara tiles which I just think look really nice I love the fact that they're not all the same color it's a little bit imperfect you can see it's still a little bit messy and stuff down there uh, they'll be t uh, doing the grouting on Friday I think and then in the small toilet you can see they've done the same sorry it's a bit yellowy in here but all of the tiles are complete as is the grouting I think they're just gonna have to do the silicone seal in the corners so yeah it's looking awesome I can't wait for it to be complete Hey guys, so it is day 13 of our bathroom renovations and I just wanted to give you a quick little update. So now the floors are all complete and the wastes have been put in and they've also done all the grouting on the floors. Next we are going to have the plumber and the electrician come in and apparently we're going to have a walking, working toilet tonight. So a lot's kind of changed since you last saw it. It's a Saturday now, we've actually just had the plumber leave. So you can see we have our heated towel rack. Uh, we've got our mixer here for the shower. Our wall recess is looking really great. Our shower has now been fitted and they've also fitted in the vanity with the uh, hardware as well. So these taps are now working. Great. Then in the toilet, the toilet's fitted and this is working as well, which is great. We just went for a simple one and we also have our little matching vanity in here. They had originally uh, configured it so that it would sit opposite the toilet. However, I wanted it to be facing you as you walked into the toilet. So they've just had to knock out a couple of the tiles and that'll be getting retiled in the next couple of days. So yeah, it's all really starting to come together. They've also put the framework around the windows in both of the uh, bathroom areas and around the door frame too. So yeah, it's, it's looking amazing and I can't wait for it to get painted and then we're gonna have a huge round mirror sitting here. So next time I show you guys the bathroom, it'll probably be finished. I'm not sure whether we will have the shower screen in yet, but that'll be the next update. So all of it took about three weeks for our bathroom renovation to be complete, minus the shower screen that took an additional week. And when that was in, it was like heaven because it felt like we had a hotel bathroom, which was really nice. You could kind of see from the previous clip where it was getting to. So we went for something that was really classic, uh, really conservative as well, but something that wouldn't date because we know that this is not our forever home. We really love this house, but we're quite, I think, pragmatic in the fact that one day we will move on and we'll probably move into a bigger space or maybe we'll go back to New Zealand. We're not 100% sure at this point but we just want to make sure that every single change that we make to the house is going to be an investment rather than something that we're doing just because it's very trend focused. So let's move on to the full reveal. So when you walk in you can kind of see you've got the vanity again but now you've got this huge round shaped mirror which we really liked and because we decided to go for matte black hardware we went for a matte black framed mirror as well the vanity is really kind of modern and contemporary however i think it also has a bit of a masculine edge to it which i really like i really like the vanity though i love the fact that it's got the double sinks and they actually sit on top of the vanity so you've got the flat space and then you've got these big bowls which is really lovely and we've got the taps coming out of the wall which was something I really wanted and I think it kind of adds to that whole luxury hotel feel of the space. As you turn to the left slightly you'll see that we've got our free standing shower screen. I really like this and the fact that it's not a door because it makes it so much easier to go into the shower. The guys were really great and they paid a lot of attention to detail here and they put matte black fixing so that it matched everything else in the space, everything that's kind of visible which was really nice. We do have the dual shower head setting, so we've got almost like a waterfall shower head. But then there's also the additional fixture, which I think is really good, particularly when we're bathing Nigel, because it's a lot easier to clean him. We have a really beautiful wall niche, which I think looks amazing. And we went for a statement tile, so we've got Carrara Marble Penny Tiles, which I think look really lovely, and with the white grouting, they pop. The actual tiles that we use in the shower are a subway tile, and I think they're really nice. They're a 75 by 150 subway tile in just a white gloss. They look 
lovely with the white grouting. We just wanted to uh, use the tiles in the shower space only so that we could create a bit of differentiation between the shower space and then the rest of the room. The mixer we actually placed just as you enter the shower and it's absolutely brilliant. I think it makes it so much easier because you're not getting cold the moment you step into the shower uh, and it means you can just turn it off, you can wait for the water to heat up and then you know, go and bake yourself. The tiles that we used on the floor are a hexagonal Carrara marble tile, and I think they look really lovely. We went for misty gray Ardex grouting, in case anyone is wondering what we used. Then we can we use that same styling over in our toilet or powder room space as well. So we've got a really lovely hanging wall vanity. This is again by Vanity by Design, and I think this one it's not exactly the same, but it has the same feel because the mahogany color of the wood is the same color. It's got a nice little apricot colored pool tab and then the porcelain bowl with the black fixtures and we've used those black fixtures throughout so the handrail is matte black and so is the toilet holder too. Our toilet is just a simple bog standard toilet we didn't go for any bells and whistles I mean I don't really think you need to with your toilet uh, and the thing that I really like the most about our toilet is our light fitting because Previously, it was just a light bulb. There was nothing there, and I'm not a fan of oyster light fittings. We have a couple of them in the house just because it is an older home, and we are really looking forward to changing them just because I think they look a little bit dated. So I found this one, and I like the fact that it's modern. Our ceilings aren't overly high in the house, so I knew we couldn't have anything hanging. So really, we knew it had to be something that was affixed to the ceiling, and it took ages to find this light, but I'm really pleased with it, and I think it looks perfect within the space because it does have that matching black finish. So that is our full bathroom and toilet renovation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. would love to hear your thoughts. I'm sure there will be so many conflicting opinions on what we should have done, but this was just what we wanted to do with the space. I really like the configuration of having the bathroom and the toilet separate. I know we probably could have combined them if we really wanted to, but for us it works. We only have one, well really only one functional bathroom in our house. We have an exterior toilet, but you have to go outside to use it and it's not really nice so it makes it a lot easier because if one of us is using the bathroom someone else can use the toilet vice versa it makes it very easy we do want to renovate our laundry and that exterior toilet to become a second bathroom but that's a really expensive renovation and it's not going to be something that we do until probably a couple of years down the track so yeah it's turned out really well we're so happy with the outcome we're so happy with um, using Luke's renovations I think they did an amazing job again I'm just so thrilled with it um, honestly it feels like we live in a hotel when we go into the bathroom it just reminds me of like staying at the old Claire hotel in the city so really please definitely worth the money uh, it's one of my favorite things about our house at the moment as you can probably appreciate um, because it was a long time coming so yeah that was our bathroom reno thank you guys so much for watching if you do like these home decor or home renovation videos please give this one a thumbs up because I'm hoping to do some more in the future um, and please subscribe if you're new from me and you want to see more fashion, lifestyle, and beauty videos. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!